All right, hi to everyone who does come in. We are doing a tutorial on rerouting. I'm doing another Margot Robbie doll. But before I get started, I wanted to share a little bit about this. I found it on Clarence today at Walmart. I thought it was really cute. It was only $4, all right? So, and I have it to go on this doll. Her hair is still wet because I am going to... Well, I had to wash it. Let's put it that way. So it looks thinner, but I like this doll's face. I like the eye color. She's really pretty. And since this outfit was only $4, I thought, okay, why not? Now, I'm going to jump to Barbie in a minute because I've taken my 50th anniversary Barbie. And I've had to dip her hair in hot water and give her a um, perm to make it straight. Then after that, I had to um, make it curly. So I'm leaving the curlers in for days. I did lots of hot water. And this is the one I rebodied. And so I did her hair with even more curls. So I might take that out tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm simply going to leave it as it is. Hi, Monica. Thanks for joining. Here, let me get my hair right. Dixie's trying to help. I'm trying to figure out the side of my head looking in here. Thank you. I finally have gotten to wear makeup after two months of not. So, uh, allergic reaction. They're very real. All right. So, I want to put this on this doll real quickly, really briefly. I could have done that before I came on. But I wanted to let y'all know that this was only $4. It's on clearance. Not all Walmarts, because Walmart is pretty stingy. They're not like they used to be. Oh, good. I got trash right there. And so I am thought about I was like, okay, I've reviewed it quite a few. Hi, Amber. How are you doing, sweetheart? Um, I've reviewed it quite a few Margot Robbie Barbies. But then it's like, I rebodied one. What? You know she wants to be with you. Front and back. I don't like, I'm, I'm not into my life dolls. If that's all that you have around you and that's what you have, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you love them and like them. So it matters. That's one thing I see, I notice about with influencers. They, they talk about their opinions and I've seen some of their stuff and I just keep going. Okay, this fits perfect, and it looks really, really cute on her. I might take her with me tomorrow. I'm going to the country so far. That's how it looks. She come with a cute turquoise vest. You know I'm a sucker for teal. No. I don't have any dolls coming in the mail except for the Ken Enough. Okay, there she is. This looks really cute on her. That's why I wanted it. Look at the eyes. So this one is the um, stitch, the low one stitch. So I decided to do her. But now I got her dressed. She's done. I'm going to lay her over here. Okay, let her stand. All right, so let's get ready. I'm going to end up moving my camera. <clears throat> Mm. Making sure everything to watch. Okay, so I'm going to move those. I'm going to move my camera so it will be looking down on what I'm working on. So you will see my doll hair projects I'm getting ready to do. And also, we're going to be doing a Barbie haircut. We're going to do hair, head removal. Now, I will tell you this this is not the original Margot Robbie body, head, all of that kind of stuff. This is the head that comes on the rollerblade Barbie. Okay, see, there's the head on the rollerblade Barbie. The body came from 1985 prom Barbie doll on Amazon. She was on sale. So I did a head swap and put her on this body because it um, came with pantyhose, rubber bending legs. We love those. Please bring them back to all the dolls. All right, that would be wonderful. So, but we're going to give her some cute long hair. We all look better with longer hair. Hello. 
So starting off and pushing my head down like that. And then I'm pulling it off like that. I know it looks this grand. <clears throat> I was very unnerving with that myself the first several times, but after a while, um, I'm good with it. Uh, I'm, I get over it. I know I like the rubber bending legs. Okay, so I use these to pull the um, earrings out. So. Just like that, just twist them out. They come out without any problems. They didn't break, nothing like that. So the earrings are still good. No, I'm not reusing those earrings. Absolutely not. And the reason why I'm choosing this one is because her face is gorgeous. See? Oh my gosh, I can't stand looking backwards into this thing. There we go. Oh my God. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Almost. All right. So her face is beautiful. See the eyes are perfect. There we go. Nice fresh face. The eyes are even. Beautiful. Perfect face. Absolutely incredibly amazing face. So that's why I decided I was going to give this one a reboot. So, first things first, I am going to move one pair of scissors out of my way. Now, I'm going to, oh my God, get this hair straightened out here so it doesn't messy because I'm going to be using it. Oh my God, I need my spray bottle. Okay, I'm using two different kinds of hair. I have hair from Custom Doll Hair and... Oh, great. Let's grab a brush. Do not forget your spray bottle with conditioner. And, of course, my tool that I use to reboot Barbie's hair. Awesome. Now, I'm going to be using two colors. I'm using Platinum Blonde by RestoreDoll.com, and I'm also using snow white you can also get that at restoredraw.com all of this barbie's hair is going to be done in platinum blonde and then it's going to have snow white streaks along the the front area throughout the front here the opposite of mine where mine is mostly black looking and this is a good technique to use on your hair Okay, I'll fix my camera in a moment. Oh my God, what are you doing? little shining okay so i'm gonna set these things out and i'm going to cover the camera i'm gonna mute and then i'm going to make everything go dark and i'm going to move the camera up on top of my light let me go ahead and bend this over get this situated making sure you all can hear me clearly okay set that over there this over here mm, okay Oh, thank you for the compliment, Monica. It's very sweet of you. All right, so we are moving the camera up here. Mm. 
Okay, sorry, kitty treats. All right, so this is the head we're working with. So here is the um, Barbie 65th anniversary. Barbie 65th anniversary, yes, I have three. The other one is new in the box. This one, I blushed her cheeks on. This one. And I rebodied her with the Barbie Retro 1985 Prom. Yes, I believe that we should have a version of this body with rubber bending legs, smaller waist, larger bust. Um, these arms look fine to me. Um, yeah, that's what we need for a collector doll. Collector doll should have a more adult look to her when it comes to being Barbie. So that's how I feel about it. That's my personal thought on that. Again, it's just my personal opinion, my own personal thought, nothing like that. It doesn't mean that they're going to do that. I mean, you know, they, they try to do things from every angle, but considering all the body types they have, I think they should have a body type that's perfect for a doll. One moment. Okay, so we're going to be working. This is my rooting tool. And I have my glasses. I got something to drink. All right, we got water with that, which I need to put more water in here. You comfortable? If you're here watching, if you're going to stick a while, please click the like button. Thank you. And if you don't like it, well then, what are you doing here for? I think that's the best question to ask anyone if they don't like your content. What are you doing here for? Nosy. I do not understand why people grab clippers that you use on a person to try and cut doll hair to get this illusion of something. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I swear it is. Just whack it off. I 
I might, I hope Richard can pop on tonight. I've been thinking about him lately. Okay, Barbie. They should have gave you longer hair anyway. But they did not know how this movie was going to go about Barbie. They did not know if it was going to do well. And they did not expect it to do as good as it did. I remember them talking about that. All right, I need another tool. So how's everyone doing tonight? Me, I'm doing fine, doing fine. Um, on this particular doll, there's no hair to say. Um, the Barbie dolls from the movie, the hair is just so short. You really, what did you want to do? It's not long enough. To, it's not worth saving. I mean, it's not just not long enough for hair play and all of that kind of stuff. I had to powder my nose and clean my glasses. But, so I'm coming up. Okay, never mind. Lighting. All right, I'm going to cut the light off. And now I'm going to come up into the camera. Okay, give it a moment. Camera, what are you focusing on? Here. There we go. See? Oh, my God. We had it there. So she has a few hairs in her mouth, but, yeah, she's got the perfect eyes and everything. And so I decided I wanted to reroute her hair in these colors. Um, She is the skating one. So, yeah. I'm taking my tweezers. I squeeze them closed. I hate they melt the hair inside the head. I liked it better when it was sewn. Like, what gives with that? This, oh, it's actually reflecting from the pink on my shirt. It's um, Snow White, yeah. 
And the Peaches probably coming from the Platinum Blonde. I rebooted several of these with the Blonde Dishes hair color. Mixed with Snow White. I like that, but I wanted to do one where it's kind of like I can put her in any kind of outfit. And she'll look good. Like, let's say, like, I want to dress her up like peaches and cream or something. That would work. But I would need a bent arm body with a larger bust. And this head would look really good on one of those bodies. Hi, if you're joining, please give the video a thumbs up. Yeah, that wax, I know, it's disgusting. I swear, I just don't know what in the world those factories were thinking. It's crazy. Well, this is definitely better than wax. It's not gooping out of the head and stuff like that. Oh. Well, I think I found her brain. Oh, wow. There it is. We plugged her brain. There's another piece.
Okay. All right, everything is cleaned out. I have my trash can over here. All right. I'm going to re wet this. I do not count how many hairs that I'm going to use or bend or put in the doll's head. I just go by instinct. So there it is up close. Hi, Paris. I keep looking for Richard. If you're joining in, please give the live video a thumbs up. I'm doing a tutorial rebooting. This is my method. It's much shorter. It's much permanent results. And you can continue styling and enjoying your doll's hair. And no, it's not going to come out. I don't do every single hole. Some holes are holes I skip over because once I put this in hot water, all the holes are going to shrink, including the neck hole. By the way, if you have a Barbie doll and this part of the doll, if this part of her head, neck, if the neck's broken and the head is squished on and it's really big, like, you know, big, you can dip this in hot water and it will shrink the holes in your Barbie doll's head, including the ear holes. It will also shrink all of the holes in her head as well. So that's a tip. 
as well. I am going to type something into the chat. I'm surprised with the popularity of this particular Barbie doll for the movie. I'm really surprised that Mattel didn't actually make different versions of more different versions of this particular doll. Considering the popularity and here in my area, the DVD and Blu-ray, oh my gosh. They couldn't keep it in stock. It was selling out and it was on sale quite often. I have Blu-ray and two. I have two Blu-rays and I have the DVD because of the cover versions. I want the book of Margaret Rodney where she was doing all the dress-ups and stuff like that. And I already have all the Barbie dolls that she dressed as. Today we had family over and... My aunt asked me how many times did I see the movie? And she asked me how many copies of it that I have. And I told her, I said, well, I have two Blu-rays and one on DVD. That's it. And I have the CD soundtrack. I read the comment. Celine Dion made a comment on her. X or Instagram account. And uh, Richard, oh my God, I'm so glad you're here. Richard, I want you to know, I thought about you yesterday and the day before. I really have. I really thought about you. And, and I kept thinking to myself, okay, okay. I said, so I felt like, you know, God really put you heavy on my heart. And I kept thinking, well, what about what I wanted to say to you and I was hoping you would come on because I did. I wanted to say something to you. But first of all, how are you doing? Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like the colors. We're doing Snow White and Platinum Blonde. We're going to do a mix. Um, this is going to be like my travel Barbie. So this is the Margot Robbie Barbie version I'll be taking with me. And let her have some different outfits and stuff. I got inspired by Paris, because that's what she's done with her rebooted Margot Robbie Barbie. Okay. Richard, give me a comment. Let me know you're still here, sweetheart. Because um, I'm going to end up changing the camera around in a moment. Are you still here? Okay. So, we've already gotten this part done. All of that has been rooted. Okay, there we are, Sully. Oh, three. Oh, my gosh. Three teeth pulled. 
All right. Hold on a minute. I'm going to switch my camera around very briefly. I cut my camera off for the moment. Don't worry. We're coming back on. It's just that I'm not home alone. And not everyone wants to be on. Okay, I'm fine with this look. All right, so what I wanted to say is this, um, Richard. You were um, on my mind for the past few days. And what I wanted to say to you was that, first of all, how can I, can this thing zoom? I guess not. And I thought about how much, you know, you, you talking about how you're healing and the things that you're going through um, with the loss of your mother. I received your messages that you sent me privately. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you for feeling a bond, a trust that you were able, that you feel comfortable sharing things in your personal life with me. And I also thought about how um, part of me felt concerned. Maybe you didn't have anyone that you could talk to or that was there for you the way you need them to be. And I wanted to say that thank you for having me and seeing me as your friend, someone that you can trust, someone that you feel comfortable with talking about your personal feelings to. And I wanted to encourage you to stay strong. But I also, I thought about you quite a bit. I was driving and um, um, I was going to the pharmacy and on my way, I was, um, you were on my mind and my heart felt heavy. And I was thinking to myself how difficult things have been for you since your mother has left and is no longer with you. And I'm, uh, there are no magical words that I can say. All I can do is try and give you words of comfort to say that I'm very grateful that I have been able to be here as a distraction as I was for you and your mother together. And I'm here for you and I want you to know that you are an amazing person, that you are special, and that I'm all the way here in the United States, and you're all the way in New Zealand, but yet my heart has connected with yours, and there's a bond. And I wanted you to know that I was thinking of you, and that you are in my prayers, and I wish you the best, and I'm hoping the best for you in the outcome. And your happiness is important. And I'm hoping that you're able to get that. I hope you'll be able to have the happiness. Yes, I'm trying to get the other background. My BF just leaves shoes everywhere. Um, and that's just a toy blanket I do under the door. You know, so noises and things like that. But... Um, The one thing I realize in this life is that material things can give us comfort to a certain level, such as dolls, Barbie, for guys who like to collect, or, or girls, whoever likes to collect, collect um, Hot Wheels or American Girl or any other doll. They provide a comfort, they're a coping mechanism. And that's great, but I believe at the end of the day that we as human beings, as people, the way we interact with one another, the way that we can connect and bond with one another, that is how we heal. That is how I believe as human beings, we provide comfort to each other that nothing else in this world can provide. Um, being on a type of radar um, we are, it's just a human thing that n no one, nothing else can ever understand. We have some good people, we have bad people, and some who are in between good and bad. But, um, 
I just wanted you to know that there is someone out here in this world who does think of you and who wishes you the best, who wishes you love, who wishes you joy, who wishes you happiness. That is me, that is many of my regulars who are here. We all love you and support you, and we all wish you the best in life. And we really hope you are feeling the love that we send you and the support. Please know that you are special and that you are somebody. All of you, everyone is. Each and every one of us is somebody. Everyone deserves to feel support. Everyone deserves to feel love. Everyone deserves to be encouraged. And I, th I think that's the biggest thing we can do as human beings is provide support for one another. And um, yeah, it, it's a human being thing. And not everyone in this world has the capacity to have the emotion of having unconditional love for another person because they were not shown or taught it. I wasn't. It was something that I had always wanted, uh, but only received it at certain levels. Um, these are things that I have had to learn through my own journey in life. So I can't speak for everyone on this planet. I can only speak for myself to say that, you know, you are special. You are amazing and that you can get through this. Um, stay strong, positive, and just trust the journey in life. And no matter how hard it seems as we go down our own road of life, we are going to come across um, difficulties and struggles. But I believe as human beings, if we are a support system for one another as humans, if we are there for one another unconditionally, and not everyone is here for us unconditionally. You know, we have mean people. And that is just how, unfortunately, this world is. But please know that I, I wish you nothing but a ribbon, a band, go around your heart and that way you will heal um, and be able to recover. I'm not promising all these things can happen because when we lose someone, especially our mother, you know, it's very hard and you and your mother shared a very, very special bond that was just absolutely incredible. And so please know that I'm here. Very few of us are here and we are compassionate. We have empathy for other human beings. So please know that you are important. You are loved. And we are here for you. And I really, really wanted, I had that in my heart. And I really wanted to tell you that and share that with you. So please know that in this journey, in your journey that you're going through right now in life, um, please know that we support you and we care about you. And we care about your happiness. We care about your health. And we want you to be well. And we want you to do well. So I'm sending you with much love. And Dixie too. So yeah. I just wanted to be able to take a time out. Specifically just for you. Um, I felt God put you on my heart. And so I pray that um, you're able to feel love and feel the comfort and from people here in different places of the world um, who are here for you. Hi, Dee. And um, yeah, that's important. So here all the way here in the United States of North Carolina um, and other areas of uh, the United States, these are many people who care about you and we wish you well. So we love you and we want you to be happy. So, yes. So, all right. So, I'm going to continue back. I cut my camera off because 
I'm moving it around so I can get it back in place. Okay. Where are we? There we go. There we go. Okay, here we are. These cabbies, how are you doing? Oh my God, you were so sweet. I saw the video where you gave me a shout out. So thank you. That was sweet of you. You're such a sweetheart. How did you like my cabbies? My soft sculptures. I'm thinking, I think I want to do most of this. I'm going to stick with the platinum blonde. And I think I'm going to do this with highlights up around where I'm going to do a part. I'm giving her a side part. I'm not doing the middle part. So I'm going to kind of be inspired by the Barbie in the gold. Is that leyendo? No? ¿Te quieres ver un movie algo? Ya se va. Okay, so I want her hair like how I did this Barbie. I did not reroot. I just added more hair on her head. So it's mostly platinum, and she has snow white here in the front. Um, as you see, her part is darker. I kind of like that, and I have snow white hair rooted in the middle. So I'm going to do her hair very much like this. Yeah, that way you just see like little highlights throughout. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to do a mix in the front coming up along here. Let me put this arm down. Yeah, I, I, I put her, I, her in the president switched earrings. So I want her hair to be like that, a mixture of platinum blonde and snow white. And that's what I created in here. So I think I'm going to do it in the hairline as well. Let me look at the head size. Huh, it's a different skin tone. So, yeah. Oh, I got more. I have more self-scratch of Barbies in storage. I have to admit, they are not standing for hair. Isn't this just gorgeous? So Pepsi. Um, no, this is saran hair. It's not, um, this is not nylon. Yeah, it's saran hair. Okay, so there we go with that. So the frame the face, and then when I make her part, 
and then through certain rows I will be mixing the Snow White um, Saran hair. Hi, Jay. How are you doing tonight? Oh, I love the little happy faces. Absolutely adorable. Richard, doesn't these cabbage dolls and toys, doesn't she have a cute child like her channel? Isn't it amazing? She showed us her doll collection. Oh my gosh, I showed my BF her video of that. And he just looks and says, is that what you're going to do to the whole place when we get on? I was like, um, not exactly. To me, it's like a museum, you know, it's three, because she has not just new dolls, but she has some of the most sought out dolls throughout all times. It's like um, a museum of history. The most important part of life is your childhood, and not everyone has a good one. And those of us, you know, sometimes it can be that very special toy that made your life feel better and gave you comfort. No, not that. I'm doing white. All right. Thank you, Jay. You too, sweetheart. Take care.
Okay, so within less than an hour, we've gotten half of the side rooted. And the front, around the front part, I'm doing two different colors to give us more highlights. Oh. Okay, so now that's a lot more noticeable. It'll show up better when it's done. So she's got like a fresh powder face. Um, I'm going to finish rerouting all around the edges first. Then I will come back in and I will do um, platinum blondes. And then I'm going to skip a row because my plugs are thick. So it'll be platinum blonde, platinum blonde. Then I will have um, snow white and platinum blonde. Snow White, and then also going along the sides. So I will skip rows. It'll be every other row. And then once I've finished, and then I dip the doll's hair in hot water, it will shrink the holes up that are left, and also shrink all of these others to make it tighter. I'm not going to do a hair parted in the middle. I am going to give her a side part that is, oh my God, where did I put the Barbie and go? Yeah, there she is. So, her side part is going to come over like this. So, she'll have a side part like this. Cool. So, what I'm going to do is stop the video here. This way you get the hint, the idea. And when I get through, her hair is going to be like this. Multicolor. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do her like that. I do have this collar, and I can do that for the part, but I'm not going to. I just I'm going to have all of her hair light just out to those two other colors, the platinum and snow white collar like that. So, yeah, and super long hair with curls. All right. So I want to say thank you all of you for joining me at this time. Um, I will come back live later in a part two with this particular video. In the meantime, I did take the 65th anniversary Barbie. And I did add um, highlights in this one's hair. I think I did that live. So the highlights are in there. She has got lots and lots of hair. You can see lighter and darker tones of different colors in her hair. Um, now you can see it, especially up in through here. Um, here, look at the curler. So you can see those different highlights and low lights. And up, what is on her face? Okay, there's her face up close. All right, so thank you all for watching for now. And I'll be back later. So if you don't have notifications set up, you can set them up. Now you'll see why I had that turned off. All right, cool. So there we go. All right, so I'm going to get more comfortable and everything like that. And so I will see all of you soon. Okay, so stay tuned. And anyway, yeah. See you later. I know that's a melee sculpt. That's because it didn't make it oversized and how they paint it. Oh, sending much love to you, Richard. Love and peace. All right. So, bye.